fuck, daddy fucking daddies fucking daddies oh daddy, daddy issues, issues to be specific yeah because daddies are just like that's a thing yeah but that's I, a person the daddy issues is more on, on us sure but it's they're they play a role in it too they i mean they can they, can, they are literally <laughs> oh, but we have but we, the daddy I, we issues we have the daddy issues daddies are daddies Wait, like, but I think you can feel nothing about a daddy and that's gonna that daddy's gonna walk down the street and die it's fine wow for posterity's sake, I think we should discuss what, what it a, is. Yeah, what a daddy is. Like or what what's your relationship to the daddy community? So like a daddy in the traditional sense, and I mean this traditional in like the last ten years, is like just like an older guy. Doesn't necessarily be like gay or straight. Like straight for women, gay for men. Okay, whatever. so this is where our communities overlap. This is a, yes, this is Daddy. intersectionality for wow. gay and straight. I've heard that word before. Didn't know it meant that. You can use it. It's kind of a catch all. Okay. If you want to sound smart, you can just use it. Intersectionality. Yeah, I'm about to intersectionality your ass. With your penis? With my 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 uh, yeah. your penis and my ass are gonna collab. That actually kinda makes a little bit more sense than you think. Intersectionality yeah, like is my, anal my sex. A, my dick going into your ass would be like the intersectionality of my dick and your ass, and the part where my dick is in your ass. That that's intersectionality. So a wow. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know, the star <laughs> flies over, hits you in the head. Be like, is this what they're teaching kids in school? So cause maybe we shouldn't be teaching them that. <laughs> um, but no, daddy. I, okay, so it's daddy, an older man, older guy, uh, wants to take care of somebody. Uh, and that that's just like a, what a daddy is, right? Some some screw off some body hair, you know, whatever. Maybe gray. Maybe gray. But dad bod. Sure. So daddy issues, that is on us. Yes. Those or it's how we experience daddies. Exactly. Do you want something from a daddy? Do you need something? Do you want to be taken care of? Are like, you re- repeating trauma? Thank you. Are you? <laughs> no. Are you? Actually, no. I don't have daddy issues. Bold statement. I have mommy issues. That's a different episode. I know. That is a different episode. I'm, I, I, we can talk about it. Do you want to? We don't have to. It sounds like you don't want to talk I don't, about well, it. Well, I don't think I, I'm, of course, opening to, oh, opening to talk about it. I'm open to talking about it, but Maybe I want to be clear. You don't have any daddy issues. None. I love my father. You didn't talk to him for a year. Yeah, but I think you that was that really did I was, anything. I, I, you don't think you nothing? don't think anything's ahead. But remember, the follow up to that statement was I didn't talk to my mom for two years. Hence, mommy issues. Hence, mommy. I issues. think. Do you know that you? So most people have a trauma parent. Yeah, mine's my mom. Mine's my mom too. Wow, yeah. really? Oh yeah. Tell me about that. Well, my dad's traumatizing me these days. Subtly. Sure. It's insidious. It is. Oh, I know. I will say though, I do not in the larger sense, feel like I have daddy issues in that I've never craved calling a man daddy in a sexual way. Zero. It actually, I fumble over it. Yeah. I, I'm a sir guy. I'll call a guy sir. Oh. And boy. Yes. Yes. I, I'm i down with a good boy. Yes. And a yes sir. But How like very like cute militaristic of you. Yeah. I very, that. very dom, aggressive, submissive. Yes. Oh, or like good sir. Do you say it like that? Yes, no, good sir. I haven't done any Downton Abbey role play. But you'd be into it. Maybe. No, actually, I'm not into role play either. I act all the time. I, I want to be myself. I know. When I'm coming. Thank you. And that's why I tell every casting director that I stand in front of. <laughs> I just want to be me <laughs> when I come. come. Authentic orgasm. Yeah. I don't want to be a pirate. So you don't have daddy issues. But No, you- I think I have like... um masculine man issues so is that daddy? toxic is that masculinity toxic yeah. i don't know i think daddy issues has to imply <laughs> fathering raising yeah. nurturing yes yeah and i don't have that i want for whatever reason i'm in that group of people who are like liam hemsworth fuck me break my neck and leave me for dead why right yeah like, if anything, I want a dad to come in and like be like, that's not safe. That's not okay. Don't break his neck. Do not burn him. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, I know what I want. I want Liam Hemsworth to, to shred me to bits. To cut his name into my neck. Yeah. I want Chris Hemsworth, because I'm more on the Chris camp. You can have him. It, I want him, yeah, to just take like a meat pounder and just 
bloody my entire body. You know you have his Thor hammer at your disposal. disposal. No, but and I want it for a meat. Yeah, because I want it to tenderizer? hurt more. Yeah, a tenderizer. I want it to hurt more. But I don't actually, but like the idea of being like, I want to be just ravaged by you because you are such an epitome of masculinity. Yes. And therefore I am just barely worthy to be in your presence. That the whole spit in my mouth. The whole thing. spit in my mouth thing. Like treat, their spit is actually worth treat me like a something. fucking toilet. Song of twenty twenty two. Okay, that is it was a good song. Shout out to that woman. Name. Wow. I don't know her name. Mel A. Sure. Mel A. She's From great. the Spice Girls. Mel B. Mel C. Mel A. I think they're sisters. Mel A. Noma. Mel A. Noma. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Mel A. Noma. So to answer your question, I do not feel like I have daddy issues, though I do wish I had been raised with more of like a TV dad or a movie dad. Like Bill Cosby. <laughs> you set your words. You want to be raised you know by Bill you, Cosby. You know what you're doing. You set yourself up for that. No, I went like uh, yeah, Danny you want Tanner. Wholesome, yeah. Who's that? Isn't that Full House? Oh, sure. Isn't I never, it? I never, I was like. You didn't watch Full House? No, I was born in 1999. Shut up, Darren. Sorry. <laughs> Even if that were true, which it's not, you would have caught some reruns. I've never seen Full House. I've seen Fuller House more than I've seen. Full That's house. disgusting. That's horrible. I've never seen Fuller House, and I won't. There are some daddy issues in that house. You n- none. I no. It's they have, they have three fathers. Like it's two men Danny and a baby. Danny Tanner, Jesse, who was related in some way. Maybe an uncle. Joe. Well, one of them is a brother, but the other one, I'm unclear. Is this is just, tough for me to have a conversation with you about this because you've seen it and you're having difficulty recalling okay, it and I've thing. never seen this it. This is the thing. There's three. They have three dads. The The, the kids have three dads. Okay. And it's like one, the maternal father who is like very like um, on his, Bob Saget. Got very it. like nerdy. Oh, rules. Okay. And then there's Joey, okay. the goofy, funny one. Yes. And then John Stamos is the cool one. Okay. So like they're kind of getting their needs met from like a kind of a sex in the city group of gals. <laughs> so does that mean that like subversively, like they're trying to say that the more daddies you have, the better? I think it's like the dads were able to pick up the slack from the dead mom. So it takes three dads to do the to work make of the one, one mom. mom. Yeah. See, and, and they still drop the ball a lot. Fucking moms are the best. Even though my trauma is from my mom. Moms are, she's to still, be clear, the best. Yeah. Maybe next time we will do a mommy, mommy issues. Issue. But my mom is very much like pants in the family, made all the decisions, mean, you know. <laughs> mean? <laughs> she's mean. She's mean. Is, your, is she my dad dom is to your dad? Totally. <gasps> your dad's Absol- a sub top? My, my dad is a sub top. My mom is... Is a, is a, a mask, dom bottom. Mask on bottom. I think if they had probably met in later years, like now, like my mom would totally peg my dad. Like they'd be a I want the Blue Stones to know that pegging is still on the table. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Can you get into pegging in your 70s? Lord knows there's a porn for it. If we opened up Pornhub right now, there'd be some like. 70s pegging? Yeah. It's like. Home, Golden Home. I love the 70s. Anal yeah. Adventures. That pegging show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, so. Yeah. So we're, neither of us are like actually qualified to really speak on daddy issues. And we, yeah, we have an entire episode of television that we're talking about it. Because it is important and it is funny. Because like most is, things, it's funny when you aren't affected by it. Right. <laughs> it is a th- it is a through line, though, of a lot of things in this world, though, you know, of like... Like the patriarchy? The patriarchy is essentially... Daddy issues. Daddy issues incarnate It's as dads a run amok. Yes. Those crazy dads. It's just so funny because it's like, when I think of my dad, the last thing I think of is sex. Yes. Like, my dad does not have genitalia for all I know. And I want to keep it that way. Can I tell you, th- I totally agree, this morning. Your dad sent you a dick pic. <laughs> he sent me one, so it'd be a shame if he didn't send it to his <laughs> own flesh and blood. <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to like, I think I'm going to like wake up and like jerk off and just like get some r- stress out. 
wait until the end of this out story. through your penis stop zach okay. <laughs> i was like i'm gonna wake up i just like i'm gonna feel a little stressed i'm gonna do the thing that i do which rub is one like, out i'm gonna rub one out and like get ready to go and i started jerking it and i like, went on to twitter because that's where all the porn is now and i started jerking off and my dad sent me a text message and i forgot to put my phone on like do, the, not, disturb. The do not disturb mode and my dad sent me a text message and immediately my boner went away and I was like, oh, fuck, now I can't jerk off. Because your dad's Because I was like reminded of my father. That you father. have a father. It's just a dad. And he was like, oh, we're going golfing today or something. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, then then I'm putting this away now. There is nothing like, like jerking off to porn on your laptop and like mom towers pops in as a phone call. I'm right. like, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Fuck. Are no, you kidding me? Get out of Get here. Out. Um, although, mom. Ugh. Although I <laughs> yeah, sure. it's Stop. It is the modern day walking in on your child jerking off. Absolutely. Um it happens daily. But I have a question and this has nothing to do with daddy issues. Okay. When you're jerking off to Twitter porn, mm. I assume it's on your phone. Mm. Where what's the setup like? Okay. <clears throat> this is So, I mean This is important. Yeah. Okay, you're on your back. I'm on my back. Imagine Propped this. up by pillows though? Yeah, a couple okay. pillows. And honestly, Okay, okay, I'm left-handed. Me, t- so I'm a righty, but I jerk with the left. Cute, twinsies. That's called range. That's called twinsies. I'm jerking. But oh. aren't you lefty? I am. Okay. So I have my phone in my right, and it is balancing on my chest, and I'm scrolling like this with my right hand, with my little phone <laughs> balancing against my chest, and I'm jerking off my left. Balancing on your chest. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, right. Why? What's your setup? Well, I, if I were to do that and I don't love it because of all the Cirque du Soleil you have to do, mm. but like, I think I've propped up my phone on like a little pillow, like on my chest. So it's like, <laughs> I'm looking at it like yeah. right here yeah. and then I'm jerking below, obviously, because my penis is south below of you. my chest right? for the time being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, might, you might have some, some, uh. Some corrective Some big surgery is coming up, but I will say, all of the guys that I'm attracted to on Twitter, like the the Twitter porn stars, or whatever, they're older guys. They're by ad- all admission like daddies. Wow, you know, they're like m- most of them are very hairy and at least thirty and scruffier and stuff like that. And that that I think that something that y- even though I am attracted to men who are older and by all accounts look like fathers that doesn't necessarily mean that i have issues, issues. with my own upbringing of my you know and father sure, in that you're case. just horny i'm just fucking horny i will say there's something about like okay did you ever follow hot dads of disney yes okay there's something about like a young dad who is like kind of like been run ragged by life like the kids Let it go. his wife Absolutely. his job and I'm just like, oh, I just want to give him a blowjob. Yeah. Take like some, take some stress like, away. Put the kids in the garage or wherever you put kids. But it's also kind of hot to see like this dad who's like kind of a little bit let himself go. A little. He, but he because still's the like work is there. The, the work has been put into this new kid. Now. Like that is a man like those rough hands that have rough have, hands yeah, yeah. that have been, you know, now changing diapers and like that. That's that takes a lot out of him. He's a little tired. That's hot. And you want to take a little bit more. <laughs> I want to take, take a little a, bit off. A, an ounce more. Yeah. Change um, my diaper. So maybe it's that we have issues. Well, no, they're not issues. They're still, not issues. But we are attracted to men who could have fathered a child. Sure. Well, because having a kid is like proof that you have had sex and that you have come and that you have come. Like that's hot. Like it. <laughs> That's His why like those works. dads of Disney are kind of hot because they're walking around with like these two snot nosed things that are running behind them that were like, in their balls. That were in their balls. So you're like, oh, you fuck. Okay, so yes, and I think that's what Walt Disney had in mind when he opened the park. Yeah. Um, kids are proof that you fuck. Kids are old cum. Old cum. Look at that grown up. I guess we're old cum because we're kids. <laughs> I like to think of myself as youthful. Come. Yeah. There was a thought and it left me. Um, I'm now I'm thinking about dads jerking it at Disney. Oh, oh, oh. Did you have any fantasies 
of your friends' dads? Not of friends' dads, but teachers. Oh my god, Mr. Wozniak, Shout fourth out. grade. Shout out if you're watching and not a troll. Please hit me up. He made things stir so in difficult. me. Right. And then my teacher was Miss Ranzini, and she was hot. They were both kind of like young and hot teachers. Yeah. And I like wanted to learn everything from her, and I wanted him to. Yeah. Oh, same. Absolutely. Uh, coach K, who <sighs> was my seventh grade science teacher, not my coach, oddly enough. But you were supposed to call him Coach K? Was he a coach? I think he, probably. At the school? I don't know. Sports? You must know. Yes, he was. Okay, I thank think he you. Coached. That would be demented if your science teacher went by Coach K and did not But that's fucking coach hot. anything. If your teacher and you have to call him Coach K in science class, seventh grade. No, that's like a Mad Lib porn situation. That's hot. We're like, my coach was substitute teaching, teaching my ice. chemistry class. He said, we're going to see what happens when I put this cum in your asshole. <laughs> seventh grade, huh? Wow, you're disgusting. And it'd be like that volcano. <laughs> <laughs> I will always remember, though, the hottest thing that he did, which is like in, in retrospect, so dad. Which is he Spanked you. took his tie and tucked it into the middle of his shirt. Oh, to not like. So that it wouldn't like flop around, which is so like utilitarian. And that's hot. Like. I thought that was a, 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 a thing you did when eating. Yeah, but he would just always have it like that. I think it was like a. I thought it was like a military thing. Maybe it wasn't. But I think he just always had his like, like not like Napoleon, but a little bit. But like the tie just tucked in between his buttons. That was so hot because it was like that tie is touching his chest. Was he fit? Yeah. He was coach. Okay. Dude, I, we had some fat fuck coaches at my school. Were you still hot attracted to them? No, but the assistant basketball coach was fat he like he was no 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 he was hot he oh. was like fresh out of college but like facial hair six four right sturdy like i was like yes yeah kill me kill me yeah put a basketball S- inside of me let me shit out some let me shit out a, a rope of basketballs yeah. that's hot that's sexy wait coach that's, k r.i.p yeah. but that i, I mean like he's passed <laughs> Yeah, this was seventh grade in like 1980. 1902. 1902. <laughs> boop, boop, be doop. He, um, yeah, I don't know where he is. I mean, he's not like the, there was a high school uh, English teacher that I had that ended up having sex with one of the students. And I feel like this happens a lot more than people talk about. But he and this girl who was in my the class below me apparently they like we the, he randomly showed up at like some 10th grade party like a fucking idiot and dr- like brought beer and drank no. it and got fucked up and then fucked this 15 year old girl it was like the scandal and he ran he like booked it out of the country was your english teacher r kelly <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. That I would mean, be very cool. That'd be very cool. Until it's not. Until it's very not. Until, you know, the peeing. But no, I mean, yeah. I'm I, sure that happened to you, I though. I think I can. I did run away with my teacher. Um, <laughs> This happened almost. A, I de- this is worse. You ready for this? Okay. One up me. My AP English teacher fell in love and ran away with his daughter's best friend. <gasps> this is even better. Hmm. Do you get called daddy? One time. One time? One time I was called a dad. In sex. You're talking about in sex? Or just like passing, going through the street? No, like, going yeah, I get, heckle, street. I get heckled by people on the street. Like, hey, hey daddy. daddy. <laughs> I would literally be like, where? <laughs> um, no, I my with Instagram, like, I have so many 14 to 16-year-olds calling me zaddy, like, constantly. But isn't that more stan culture? Isn't that more Stan, like mom like, and dad? Like, like I oh you're, like you know how like like this is all I'm learning this in real time. Oh well, like you know how like kids nowadays, or maybe this was a little bit like five six years old at this point. They used to when you love somebody online, like or like Taylor Swift, they you would just it. call them mom. You'd be like, mom, I love your new show. Oh, I or I, like mom, I love your new single. Or I, dad, I think you're. You're everything, right? Well, no, again, it's like daddy or zaddy. That's different. That's it's sexual. so different. Yeah. That if language is different. If someone calls me dad ever, I'm calling the police. Yeah. Well, you're just objectively not. I'm not a dad. You're not a dad. You don't look like a dad. Although, now that we brought up zaddy, I do like that. 
You'd zaddy, be okay with zaddy. Za- because it's I wasn't portmanteau raised of- by a zaddy. I never said, as a child, I never said zaddy. It's also a portmanteau of your name. Zach, daddy, zaddy. Oh, yeah. That's what they had in mind when they came up with it. Yeah. They were like, this will work for Zach's. And only, and only Zach's. Or maybe Zane's. But Zane's. Hey, not even Zane. Because that'd be zaddy. Z- Zane. Oh, no. Zadie. 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 <laughs> it's just for Zach. Um, I will say, are you, wait, are, have we talked about this already? Are you attracted to men who have children? Yeah, I think what that was established in the, uh, uh, when we were talking about the gay dads of Disney or just dads. Of oh, Disney, sure, sure, sure. Okay. But why are you? Well, no, I guess I know if a guy, if I'm a pro, I dated a guy who had kids for briefly. Sure. And for a minute i was like okay this is great if i marry him i'll look like i had the kids when i was in my late 20s yes perfect yeah that is a hot mom but then i was like still got it still got it body snapped back um (laughs) not bad for three kids (laughs) (laughs) you're a man (laughs) you're still a man you've never had kids well emotionally it feels like i gave birth to all of them uh (laughs) no but then it was like oh he has like an ex-wife and like he has the kids this weekend and it's like Oh, like they're at some point going to like look to me for answer. Like it all became more like kind of stressful sure. than well, it's cool. responsibility, which I am not a fan of. No. If we're being honest, <laughs> you're famously not <laughs> famously responsible for anyone, anyone only. But you are responsible for yourself now. As we yeah. established in the Twink episode. Totally. You know, it's I mean, crucial to survival. Yes. Especially in L.A. If you're not. If your if your bussy ain't worth rent, you gotta pay it some other way. Some, but I, okay, so to go back real quick, I do think that the 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 look of a guy having kids is hot, but the reality of a guy having kids not so hot. Right? There you go. Then and, then dating him and like having to maneuver the social constructs of like being uh, like a stepfather or like your dad's new boyfriend. It that is a lot of like. Yeah, you're, you're oh, essentially a lot playing of, a part in the trauma of like yes. two th- or three young ones, and like I don't really have interest in doing that right now. As good of a father as I will be slash would be, but that I, yeah, yeah that's I want to traumatize lot. people my own my age. My own age. I will say though, now when you were talking, I was kind of spacing out a little bit. Yeah, you have no idea what I said. I do actually, mm-hmm. but I was picturing. Okay, I don't know if I've fully encountered a daddy. And had much of an exchange with him, if that makes sense. Like, if a man came into my life and he was like, you didn't text me back fast enough, you're getting a spanking when you come home. Oh, oh that. Okay. I was confused. Sorry. No, I was confused, okay. too. So I'm glad we were both confused yeah, yeah, together. Yeah. If a man, like, who could physically, like, put me over his knee and spank me, I, I've never experienced that. So maybe I do have some subtextual daddy issues. But just because you haven't experienced something doesn't necessarily mean that you would be into, into it. it or not into it. If anything, it's just, it's like you're not into it because you haven't experienced it. Sure. Like if you experienced it and you were like, oh, that's definitely not for me. Well, you kind of were into it, though, because yes. you, you were into it you enough to try, to try it. it. Whereas like I have no interest in being spanked. Sure. And so I will not get spanked. It doesn't mean that I like, well, you don't know what you're missing. Well, I'm like, well, uh, I mean, I don't think I, I don't. I'm not missing. But any I was wrong. I was wrong about Brussels sprouts. Yeah, they're so good. You've been spanking some Brussels sprouts. I've been <laughs> I've been letting these Brussels sprouts just <laughs> dominate my whole. Nice. Um, you just swallow them whole, and then they poop them out in the same <laughs> formation. And then you feel you love when your whole kind of contracts around the Brussels sprouts. These ruffles have ridges. This is how we're opening your part of the pod. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Brussels sprout ridges on my whole. On your whole. Yeah. I think it also comes down to me for like uh a very it takes a very specific man to allow them to spit in my mouth does that make sense yes if a man did not meet my daddy criteria you absolutely cannot spank me uh again i'll call the police like that's just you're just hitting me at this point okay i mean how many people have spit in your mouth i don't know how many? It was in my 20s. I went through my spit in my mouth phase in my 20s. When was the, Okay. When was the last time that somebody spat in your mouth? Spat? That's a great question. Uh, so before the pandemic. I can tell you that much. Right. Was it a daddy? Um, or was it a friend? 
Do you want to? I actually found right them. Now? I found them on TaskRabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to fix some plumbing, spit them in my, my mouth. mouth. Could you imagine how disoriented they'd be? Yeah. No, just just spit in my mouth. The spit's going to be like an extra 100 at least. I don't think men would know to charge for it. No. Um, But it would, to answer your question. When was the last time? I think it was just a man who was like bigger and stronger than me, but I didn't see daddy when I looked into his eyes. Mm. I just saw like so, muscles. So spitting in mouths doesn't necessarily mean like daddy issues or daddy no daddy vibes but the it's power just like dynamic power. has to be there and that sometimes is like resonant of daddy issues yeah there's an overlap if i guess is all i'm overlap. saying i've only been only one person has spat in my mouth and it was my boyfriend it was like not my recent my, not my current boyfriend but like my i think I, that's the last person i would want to spit in my mouth yeah we were like dating for like two years and we were like it didn't happen until two years in see i don't understand this i like if i'm gonna be kinky with someone you are, i no, want you that person to be, person to be like, like my relation my boyfriend or like someone who i love and trust i i honestly i mean like i'm saying all this stuff like yes liam hemsworth chris hemsworth like rape me um kill me like but that's just because they're, they're hot i don't actually want that to happen when i have been doing when i have done kinkier stuff it's generally with like somebody who i love but i and so i i i, I understand that people love the anonymity of kink uh and that's that's lovely but I, i've as somebody who's just not spent a ton of time in the kink world it's always been with a boyfriend sure so that's why I wanted to know who spat in your mouth. I, I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. It's like just like a vague, like it's more of a sensory memory. Sure. But it did like ramp things up when it happened. And I think the way you do experience kink is probably the safer way. Who's to say? Who is to say? But um, I love that we have different approaches sure. to how we get spit in our mouths. Right. Yeah, you kind of you're you're a little I kind bit of on like, your D's and f- on your knees and like far back. I throw, I cast a wide net. Oh, that's what you meant. I didn't even like position wise. Yeah, you do, and so you used to do that a lot. Used to do that. A lot. Yeah, I mean, and maybe the right daddy will come around and spit in my mouth, but right now, no, that's, that's a no thank you. But yeah, I think. Listen, t- to end, to closing, end, to, thoughts, to closing on, thoughts on, on daddy, daddy issues and daddy issues. I don't necessarily think that daddy issues are a bad thing unless that becomes like, ir- like irreversible, irreparable, 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 Irre- irreversible. Ir- Help me. Irreve- oh, oh my God. Now you've taken the word from me. Can't do it. No, we have to figure it out. Irrevocable. Irrevocable. It now, doesn't make sense it. in my I'm head anymore. I'm going to this whole idea again. Irrevocable. 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 If it is irrevocable, irrevocable. <laughs> if it's a good if it's if it's if trauma it's that you if it's trauma that you are unable and that becomes unwilling a to address, and it's just and it's like controlling the way that you move through the world and like what you're thinking, then maybe that's an actual issue. Sure. But if it's just like a fun thing that it that takes a large part of your sexual life. Uh, a kink that, and it's a kink and, you know and, and I liken kinks I guess to like uh, uh, you know like the, not having like a a major or like a minor do you in wanna, your in college do you want to hear what TikTok taught me what that was a tongue twister the difference between kink and fetish what a kink enhances a sexual experience uh-huh. a fetish is a requirement for the person to like come oh or like, yeah so a kink is like oh yeah but a fetish is like i need this so then i guess if daddy and by that standard if daddy, if a daddy issues, issues a, kink, a kink great sure but if daddy issues is a fetish, fetish let's address let's something. pump the brakes let's pump the brakes or like just make sure that there are other things sure why what's your th- closing thought on daddy closing issues? thought on daddy issues you know i don't think they're going anywhere mm. I don't know if I have any, mm. but they really keep like the brunch chatter lively. Sure. You know? Yeah. I, cause I don't think they're doing a ton of, see, it's hard to say. Cause I was not say, I don't think they're doing a ton of damage, <laughs> but they obviously are. They obviously are. Our world 
has daddy issues. I think I think if we can strive to live in a place where daddies exist but daddy issues don't, lots of more people will be coming. Cool. It sounds like we just fixed the world. The world. Stop having daddy issues. Unless you like want, like to like to a little. Or or just do it. You know what? It's fine. Have get your, spanked, don't get, get spanked. Life. Get spit in, don't get spit Enjoy in. Enjoy it. It's fine. But yeah, it is it's just present. Don't traumatize people younger than you. Thank I think you. that might be that, the takeaway. I think that's good. Okay. Stop traumatizing people. Bye.